Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the HVM bull bar from Infab on our 2019 and up six lug Ram 1500. The tools I'll be using for this installation are a ratchet with extension and swivel and 17 millimeter socket, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a 13 millimeter wrench, and a series of ratcheting wrenches. We've got an eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, 13, 17, and 18 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you have a light or lights that you're going to install into the bull bar, you want to do that first. So here is the top bar that the lights are going to install into. I'm going to flip this over so you guys can see down here we've got a series of slots and holes. That's made to accommodate a number of different types of lights, whether they be individuals or a full light bar. We're going to use the Havoc Blackout 20-inch light bar. I've already gone ahead and put the brackets on it. We're just going to slide it down into place. We're going to get it nice and centered, and I'm going to attach the hardware. All right, now we're ready to assemble the bull bar. Okay, I've got everything laid out. You're looking at everything upside down and it's the back side of everything, but I've got it all laid out in the order where it's gonna to come together. Uh, this is the top bar we just assembled with the light bar inside of it. The sides are going to be uh, a mirror image of each other. You're gonna have the straight edge to the inside and then the slots on the sides are gonna to be towards the bottom. So what we're gonna do first is assemble all four of these pieces together loosely, just get the hardware finger tight. Okay, now you're gonna notice we've got a couple of holes in the side and then a couple of holes in the base. Those are gonna line up and we've got some serrated flange bolts that are gonna go through. We're gonna line those holes up and put those together finger tight. On the opposite side, we're gonna use a serrated flange nut. Get that finger tight and repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, now to the top end of each of the sides, we're gonna have a couple of holes. Then also on the top bar, we've got a couple of holes. Those are gonna line up together and we're gonna use the included hardware. We've got an Allen head bolt with a washer. It's gonna go through the top and then line up to the other hole. Use a serrated flange nut and attach that and then do the same on us, the other side. All right, and now we're going to get that finger tight, repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, now that we've got everything assembled loosely, we can still move things around, so we're going to get everything lined up. We're going to do the bottom first. So what I'm going to do is kind of push down to where this edge is parallel with this edge and nice and lined up. Make sure once it's lined up, you can go ahead and tighten everything down. Use a 13 millimeter on each side. Repeat the same for the base on the opposite side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the top bar is lined up, everything is nice and straight, and then we're gonna tighten down. We've got a 13 millimeter on this side. We're gonna tighten down with a five millimeter Allen wrench on this side. Now, once that serrated flange nut starts to bite down, it won't spin. So you can just tighten it down with the Allen. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, now if your truck has front facing sensors, you'll need to take the two center sensors out now and install them into your bull bar in these two smaller holes right up here. Uh, we also have provisions in the kit for that, including a sensor extension harness. We do not have front facing sensors in our trucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug those holes for the included caps. But if you do have front facing sensors, just look at your instructions for those uh, steps. Also, if you are going to be using a front facing license plate, you can go ahead and install that now. Uh, you've got a bracket. It's going to line up to a couple holes down here. And then you're also going to have hardware, this self-locking hardware. And get that adjusted to center and then lock it down. And that's if you're going to be using a front facing license plate. Okay, next what we're going to do is assemble our brackets together. Now, this is basically a three piece bracket. What we're going to do, I've got the driver side bracket 
Um, and you'll notice this is gonna be a mirror image of a passenger side bracket. So what you're gonna look for, you've got two holes here and one hole there. Now the two holes go to the top and the single hole goes to the bottom. This is actually gonna face to, to the front. Uh, and this goes inside the vehicle. And it's going to jog to the left uh, where you're gonna have these uh, holes uh, to the side that are kind of at an angle. Uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our recovery point you're gonna notice we got a hole here and two holes here. It's going to line up to these. We're gonna slide it into the bracket and it is a tight fit. So once you have that in, what we're going to do is take one of our supplied bolts. We're gonna go through the bottom and then take a nut and put that on there finger tight for right now. Now for the top two holes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our vertical portion of the bracket. You notice we've got two holes here. Uh, this needs to flag towards the inside of the vehicle. We're gonna put it on uh, this side of the bracket. We're gonna take our two supply bolts, go through, and then follow that up with the supplied nuts and put those on finger tight. and repeat the same process for the passenger side bracket, which is just a mirror image of this one. Okay, so now we're underneath the truck. Right here, this is an air curtain uh, that would actually come down and get, make your truck more aerodynamic when you get up to a certain speed. Um, this is it's not necessary to, to remove this, but it does make it easier and give you some more room. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. It also gives you guys a better view of what's going on. Uh, and that just requires a 10 millimeter, take these two bolts out and pull it off of its linkage arm. We're gonna do this on this side and also on the passenger side. So let me go ahead and pull that off. All right, repeat the same for the passenger side and go ahead and pull the air curtain out of the way. Okay, now we're looking at the inside of the lower portion of the bumper. This right here is a plastic piece that, that just kind of pops into the bumper. And we've got a couple of fasteners that hold it in place up top. Uh, to take those fasteners off, we're gonna need an eight millimeter to take off the nut here and here. Then once those nuts are off, we can slide these bolts out. So let's go ahead and do that. See, all it really takes is just loosening that nut and then this bolt can slide free. It just pops right out of its groove. Now that we've got both of the bolts out, there's a couple of tabs up at the top. We're gonna push down on those tabs and then push this through the front. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, now up here on the frame, we've got a body mount bolt that goes up through and attaches to the body of the truck. This bolt is about a foot long, but it's only threaded in up at the very top. What we need to do is pull this out using an 18 millimeter. Now, as a quick tech tip, it's a lot of times a good idea to hold a rag up underneath here as you're loosening up this bolt, because sometimes your frame cup up top will hold moisture. And as you loosen this up, a lot of times water will drip down. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but have your rag ready. Repeat the same for the opposite side. Okay, now we're back in front of the truck. You may notice we've got some tape up here, this is just to protect the front whenever we line up the bull bar in case something gets bumped, we don't want anything to get marred. Uh, next, we've also got the opening that we just cleared open, um, so that way we can install the brackets. I've already installed the passenger side bracket, it installs the exact same way as the driver's side. Let me go ahead and show you how that works. 
Here is our driver side bracket assembly. Again, we've got the vertical portion that comes up above our recovery point that flags towards the center of the vehicle. And this part goes up underneath the truck. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish this through the front in this opening here. And what we're gonna see is this portion right here is gonna go right over top of where we took out our body mount bolt. Now there's gonna be a flange that hangs down that's gonna drop down into here. Then there's also another location on the frame that has threaded holes that's gonna line up to this location here. So our factory body mount bolt is gonna go back up through here and we're gonna hand tighten it just for right now. We're gonna tighten it all the way. And we're gonna take this supplied bolt and go up through into the threaded hole in the frame. Let's go ahead and put, fit it into the front of the bumper. Okay, now here is our frame. This is the flange coming out where the body mount bolt was. That's what's gonna fit up into the bracket. And here is our other threaded hole. Let's go ahead and line this stuff up and put in the hardware. Again, just finger tight for right now. We still wanna be able to adjust everything. Okay, now here is our bull bar. We're gonna go ahead and slide it in place and fit it on top of the brackets. Now to do that, these slots right here on both sides, you wanna kinda of slide them over top of our recovery points. When we do that, this will actually kinda of rest on top of the recovery points a little bit, but you don't wanna just leave it there and walk off without holding it. Uh, but it will allow you to line these two holes up to the holes in the uprights. Then we can go ahead and fasten our, uh, our hardware. So let's go ahead and set this in place. Okay, now here we are on the passenger side. You can see that the, the vertical bracket in the back uh, is lined up to the hole on the bull bar. So what we can do is we can take a serrated flange nut and slide it back behind there and line it up. And then we can take one of our uh, short M12 bolts, go through the front and get that lined up and started. Get that finger tight. Do that for all four bolts, the two on this side and the two on the opposite side before you tighten anything up. Because that way we can then uh, allow ourselves to adjust everything around and get it exactly where we want before we firm it all up. All right, repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, now we can go ahead and adjust it in place and then get it snug down. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter on the front bolts. Once it's all lined up where we want it, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now, as you're tightening these bolts, if you've got that, that serrated flange nut contacting the back, as you tighten that down, that serrated flange nut will bite in and hold still. But if you have a hard time getting it to hold still, you can also slide an 18 millimeter wrench in the back and hold that uh, flange nut in place. Okay, now that we've got the bull bar tightened to the upright bracket, we're gonna go back underneath the truck and tighten down the body mount bolt and our new bolt with an 18 millimeter. All right, repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, now that we've got it tightened down to the frame, what we're gonna do is tighten down our three bolts that are going through our tow hook assembly. And we're gonna use a 17 millimeter on the bolt side and an 18 millimeter on the nut side. All right, now go ahead and repeat the same for the opposite side. Now go ahead and fine tune the installation by making any necessary adjustments. Then you'll also find these caps in your kit. Those are for plugging the four holes. If you remove the air curtain, now's a good time to put that back on. That concludes the installation. 